Hey guys, so we are doing something a little different today. I am gonna give you a tour of my refrigerator. Um, and I haven't done anything to it. This is real life, you can tell by my hair here. I just got back from a sweaty walk. Um, but I wanna show you guys, and I have not changed it, I haven't altered it, I didn't clean it. Whatever is there, I am gonna show you. So, so many people ask me about clean eating, and I just had an email actually the other day from a really sweet woman who has been working out hard and has this belly pooch, she said, that she wants to get rid of and what I recommend. And honestly, the number one thing I recommend is to clean up or just look at your diet in that case um, because it's such a big factor in how we feel, how we look, what weight we hold on to, whether we're bloating, all of those things. I know I used to work out personally just so I could eat what I wanted. I remember saying that. And then when I started having some health issues, I realized how much diet really plays a role in how I feel. And so that's what got me on the track to eating a little more clean. And then I saw the effects of how that really worked with my workouts. So let me show you what's going on. I'm gonna flip this around here. Okay, so here we go in my refrigerator. This is the drawing by my daughter. Isn't it awesome? It's balloons. I just love it. Okay. So yes, keep in mind, I do have a four and a half year old daughter. And then I also have a baby in my belly, 33 weeks pregnant. So you're looking at a refrigerator for those two people and my husband here as well. So we'll just start at the top. Beer, that's for the hubby. Protein drinks, those are for him as well. I don't drink those. Um, and then here's the coffee creamer. I do want to talk about that. So I love coffee. I'm not drinking much of it now being pregnant, um, but my husband does drink it and this is the creamer we prefer. So I've tried every natural thing out there on the market and I just can't find one I love except this one and it has the best ingredients that I have found. Again, just for the taste I like. I know plain almond milk is better and even organic half and half is probably better. What I really prefer is bulletproof type coffee. I take my coffee and mix it with a little maple syrup and coconut oil and ghee in the blender and that's my favorite thing. But when that doesn't happen, this is the creamer that we like. Coke, that is for him as well. So keep in mind here, you're seeing things that I don't consume myself and that I don't give my daughter, but I'm okay with it being in the fridge. I mean, if somebody in the house wants it, that's okay. So some of it is willpower. I honestly don't like Coke. I stopped drinking Diet Coke when I was pregnant the first time and never started again because I just like other things more. So um, so that's here. This is for me. I like to mix this with vitamin water zero. That's just a pregnant thing. I actually don't really like sparkling water when I'm not pregnant, but when I'm pregnant when I do. Yogurt. Um, and then here, so what I tend to do is get organic low fat yogurt plain and then that's for all of us in the family and then my husband and I love the Noosa but it does have a lot of sugar so we mix just a little of this with a lot of this and that gives me the flavor that I like. Um, fresh organic berries, <laughs> a gallon of hummus because I love hummus. That is mac and cheese I got at the store the other night. That's mostly for my daughter but we ate some of it. Um, bread and then in the back there's spelt bread. So I try to do gluten free as much as I can. Um, that just does better with my body. So I have spelt bread in the back um, and then I have regular bread here. I just like different kinds of grains too. Even if it's not gluten free I try to mix up the grains that we have. These I just took out of the freezer because to be honest your freezer is probably like mine. Like I just found these. I forgot I had them. We bought them to try. Um, they're delicious, but they're just a plain bread product. I can't say they're healthy all that much, but they're not bad. Just a lot of carbs. Um, and so that, I took them out of the freezer to give my daughter one for breakfast so we can start using them. But they are really good with peanut butter. Only 70 calories. Um, and they're great for kids or just a little bite for you. That's some trail mix right there. Rotisserie chicken. Organic. Um, no antibiotics or anything like that from the store. Again, a massive size salted cashews because I love them. Uh, a banana. There's almond flour in the back. These are homemade coconut chocolate protein bars. Organic free range eggs. And then I've got all my produce here. You probably don't need to see all of it, but these are my favorite drawers. Kale, spinach, lettuce, zucchini. What do I have over here? Cauliflower, grapes, carrots, limes, lemons, apples, which I I'm just loving right now being pregnant for some reason. And then cheese and meat. So all organic is what I try to do and some wraps that I use sometimes. There's a lot you can see. 
All right, and then we have orange juice, um, almond milk. I have two of them open, don't ask me why, but we go through a lot of it. So this, I talked about the protein drinks. I don't tend to drink them very much. I'd rather get my protein from other sources or just make my own smoothie at home with protein powder I like. I like the USANA brand, um, and I can put the link down below to that. But um, being pregnant, I found I haven't had as much protein as I probably need, and when I'm really busy at work seeing patients all day, there have been times I get hungry and I just can't quite get enough food. So I've bought a few of these. Um, I just like the mango and I'll mix it with some yogurt for some extra protein. So that's just what I'm doing right now. Condiments, right there. What do we have up here? Kerrygold butter, a couple bars. Um, oh, more creamer, because this is the open one. The other one is the back. <laughs> we have, okay, organic apple juice because it comes in some kids meals we get like at Chipotle and we tend to never give her the juice, we give her water instead. So I have like three up here. <laughs> um, jelly, and then lots of nut butters. I have peanut butter, I have two almond butters, and I have a soy nut butter as well. Maple syrup, salsa, oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> Sesame oil, um, tamari back there, more beer, just staring me in the face. Oh, another protein drink, I'm glad I found that, I need to drink it. Um, and then this is something I'm loving right now too. I'm not drinking kombucha while pregnant, but I really like this sparkling probiotic drink and I mix that too, maybe with a vitamin water zero. Oh good, that's my fridge telling me that it's been open too long. Okay, so let's go to the freezer. I'm not pulling everything out because it's absolutely kind of ridiculously packed. This is my bread area. I just always keep extras of everything, especially having a child in the house. Um, I like the salmon burgers. I actually just had one for lunch today and then grass fed burgers for dinner sometimes for all of us. I have, yes, organic nitrate free hot dogs for my daughter under there and then also chicken sausages for me. Uh, and then I have like butternut squash I freeze. I'm gonna make soup soon. We have waffles, tortellini. And then let me show you why the boot camp's coming up and why we're doing a clean eating challenge. Let me show you the not so bad side. Lots of raw nuts, okay, we have sunflower seeds. I eat a lot of raw cashews, raw almonds. Um, there's some pumpkin seeds down there, banana chips. But let me tell you other things that have snuck in. Oh, look at that. And then apple fritters. We have some chocolate chip cookies someone gave us from a barbecue. I have yogurt covered pretzels. I have so many sweets up here that have just been collecting. And so I personally am so excited for the boot camp to come with the 10 day clean eating challenge. The reason it's in the freezer is so it's not in the pantry and I don't eat it because right now it's a little out of control. That's chocolate covered banana chips. So they're all right there in that area and then some biscuits that I froze too. I use the freezer quite a bit. Um, so we'll just close that up. No one needs to see the rest of that. So the, all of this is to show you that things can be done in moderation, but they can also get out of hand sometimes. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from with that. Maybe you have a little sweet drawer area or maybe for you it's salts and snacks and for me it's sweets. And then once I start buying them, like I said, I'll have a couple and stick them in the freezer, but then they're always there. So for me, I need to get out of the habit. And so I'm so excited the boot camp is starting September 1st because the 10 day clean eating challenge or guide is included free with the boot camp purchase. So I have recipes in there and an eating guide every meal for 10 days. And it's just how I choose to eat. I'm not a registered dietitian by any means. It's just what works for me. So it's no gluten, it's no dairy, it's very little sugar, and we just work through it together on how to replace foods with other foods that are healthier and decrease cravings and just some of those habits that we have. So remember, for being here, you get a discount on the boot camp. It starts on Friday, okay, of this week, September 1st is the next round. It's the last one for 2017. And you wanna go to the link I have below, and I want you to use code YouTube VIP. So Y-O-U-T-U-B-E-V-I-P, YouTube VIP. Put that in and you get $15 off. So that means it's only $30 for you. You get 30 days of workouts. That includes over 20 videos, many of which aren't here on YouTube at all. I save for bootcamp members and unlimited members. So you get 30 days of workouts, a guide on what to do each day, the 10 day clean eating guide, and a private Facebook group that I'm in almost every day answering questions, motivating you, and helping you along. I would love to have you join us. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you there.
拜。